What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to quantify objects and create cost estimates within SketchUp. And before I get started, I want to thank my two newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to, and I apologize if I butcher your name, Saja, Tame Sarn, and Robert Sandstrom. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, maybe you want to support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. This week we're going to check out a brand new extension from Mindsight Studios that allows you to quantify different objects within your SketchUp models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Quantifier Pro. Plugin developer, Mindsight Studios. Plugin cost, it's a $79 standalone extension, or you can get it bundled with Profile Builder 3 to save 25% on each extension. Where can you get it? You can visit the SketchUpEssentials.com slash quantifier for the quantifier extension, or if you're more interested in the bundle, you can visit the SketchUpEssentials.com slash BIM bundle to purchase the bundle. Uh, note that those are affiliate links. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you quantify and price different objects within your SketchUp models. The way it works is you select different objects within your model, then apply cost data to them within Quantifier. Within Quantifier, you can select different objects, then within the Quantifier dialog, you can apply different cost data to your different objects. For example, let's say that I've created a foundation wall profile within Profile Builder 3. I've set my assembly up so that every different profile is generated on its own layer. Now what I can do is I can go and apply cost to that layer based on the material type. So basically the face square footage of everything in that layer gets the cost applied to it. You can also use this to apply cost to objects by other units within your model, like length. For example, let's say I use Profile Builder to create a wood base inside my model. If I put that on a wood base layer, I can add a cost item associated with length, and then my report will calculate the cost for the base based on the length and the unit cost. Note that this also works for profiles and objects that have not been created with Profile Builder, so you can use this to quantify objects you've built yourself as well. You can also apply costs based on SketchUp materials. Note that this calculates your cost based on materials that have been applied to front side faces only. This is to avoid double counting back side materials. It is possible to directly override the cost associated with an object using the object option, but generally, if you're looking to add one-off items, I prefer the last option, which is model dollars. This allows you to add cost items directly to your calculations separate from any objects within your model. One final thing to note is if you're modeling an object that you're punching a bunch of holes in, it's better to model that as standard geometry rather than a profile builder assembly. The way area is calculated is it's calculating using the bounds of an object when you use an assembly. So this is figuring the bounds of the entire object. And so if you cut a hole, it's not going to be factored into your calculations. But if you create an object that isn't a profile builder assembly, then this will calculate based on the based on the area of the actual object, including the removal of the hole. Before talking about reporting, let's talk a bit about the cost inspector. Basically, what the cost inspector does is allows you to click on different objects within your model to see if they have cost data associated with them. When you click on them, you can see the calculation that's being done for cost in the box that pops up. This is very helpful for checking on different objects in your model to make sure you have them covered. Finally, you can create reports within Quantifier that you can either view within SketchUp or export to Excel. You can set all of your units and precision items in your report settings, then when you're done, click the Export SketchUp to Excel button. This will export your report to an Excel spreadsheet, which then you can use in format, edit, change, add items, do whatever it is you need to do to finalize your estimate. Theoretically, you can import cost data from an Excel spreadsheet as well, though I haven't had a chance to test this function yet. 
Overall, I'm very intrigued by the possibilities of this extension. As an estimator, I can see how this would be very useful, but you would have to be a little bit careful with your workflow just to make sure everything's picked up the way you want it to be. So that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension you could see yourself using? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.